Look at that, that is beautiful. Showing you the box doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> Why am I doing it this way? I don't even know. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a random collective haul here for you. So I have just kind of thrown everything in here. I've got some ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, MAC, Laura Geller, and then some stuff from Octoly. So random assortment here. So I'm just gonna run through and we're just gonna do a little haul together. So let's jump into it. So I've already shown y'all most of the stuff that I've gotten from MAC recently because a lot of it was from the Vibe Tribe collection, which I love. I love everything I've gotten from that collection. But I haven't shown you this. I also got the bronzing powder. This is in matte bronze. And this is one of their permanent bronzers. So they always have this color, but I just, I love this packaging so much. So I didn't have this bronzer already. So I thought it was a good time to go ahead and get it. And it's just a really pretty matte bronzer. And it's not like overly, like, it's not that it's not pigmented, but it's almost like the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes where you kind of have to build it up a little bit, but I really like that in a bronzer. Like, it's not like it drags or anything, but it's it's not one of those bronzers where you put it on your face and it immediately sticks. You really kind of have to like build it a little bit, which really gives you this soft, beautiful look. So I'm really loving this. And I got one of the lipsticks from the Chris Chang collection. This is in Vermilion V. And I really just kind of wanted the packaging, let's be honest. I just get sucked in by packaging. I can't help it. This is adorable. That is so pretty. Vermilion V, I have like glitter on my hand from a highlighter, but Vermilion V is just a beautiful red. But it's a pretty like orangey sort of a red, very warm tone. So I love that, that is so pretty. Then I got a couple of these what are these? The Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks. These seem really nice. Very long wearing, like when I was trying to swatch them in the store, they were not coming off my hands. So impressed with that. And they had a lot of really pretty colors. They look beautiful in the swatches. Let me get these swatched. Okay, so the more cool toned one right here, that is Tea Leaves. And the more coppery color is Copper Pot. So those are beautiful. If you like metallic sort of colors, if you're looking for a good base, these seem really nice. Very creamy. They really apply nicely. Very long wearing. I've tried these out a couple of times and so far I'm loving them. Those were already getting majorly stuck on my hand. I mean, those are no joke. Okay, and then from BH Cosmetics, I got a couple of things from the Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale line. I got one of the Enhancing lip glosses. I don't know what color I got. What color did I get? Tan lines. And it is, I think this is the same color that Ashley got. We were talking about this the other day. Yeah, tan lines, which I wasn't expecting it to be this color. I thought it was gonna be kind of different. Ashley and I are gonna do a collab. We've talked about it and we're gonna do a collab because we both got the same palette and both got the same gloss. So I think we're gonna do like a look or something. But anyway, that's really pretty. This is what that looks like. Really nice gloss. Just, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't even remember. I, I think I was trying to decide on the colors. I think I forgot what I got. Let's be honest. I think I placed the order and then when it came in, I was like, oh, I forgot I got that color. I thought I chose a different color, but anyway. So I got the gloss and then I got this palette. This is the 12 color eye and cheek collection. I don't know where it says what color I got, but I know I got the more like bronzy one. Yeah, I don't know where the name is, but I got the bronzier one of the two. So that's what it looks like. I was shocked by this too. When this came in, I was thinking it would be bigger. Like I was expecting a bigger palette and it's not a dinky small palette, but it's definitely smaller than I was expecting. So yeah, the size of it kind of shocked me, but and they do seem kind of powdery, but they're pigmented. So they're powdery, but pigmented. So there are just a few of them. I mean, really pretty, very, very pretty, but you get a lot of this all over your face and in the pan when you are using it. So there it is there. Yeah, pretty, but I don't know. 
I'm still deciding, but I wouldn't say like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest thing I've ever used. Nice, but not like blowing me away amazing. I can't remember if I've already shown these in videos or not. I don't think that I have. These are Laura Geller goodies. I've been totally into Laura Geller recently, so I wanted a few more of her products. So I got one of her Blush and Brightens, and this is in Pink Buttercream. This is so pretty. It is just a beautiful, neutral, like buttery pink color. I mean, buttercream is the perfect name for it. I'll show you swatches in a second. And then I got a couple of the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. I got Peach Glow and Charming Pink, which are the newer shades. And these are both beautiful too. I'm gonna show you in the pan and then I will show you swatches. So there is Pink Glow, no, Peach Glow. And then Charming Pink is the pinkier one. Charming Pink is pink and Peach Glow is peach. So there is Charming Pink really pretty. All right, we've got a knuckle swatch going on here, so things are a little weird, but I guess you can see the dimension more when it goes across the knuckles, so that's a good thing about a knuckle swatch, I guess. So this one here is the blush. That is pink buttercream, and then that is the highlighter in peach glow. Let's see. Let me show you that one next to it. So there's that one swatched in the middle there. So this one is a little bit more subtle. Peach Glow is definitely more subtle. And then Charming Pink is just kind of a light, bright pink, like very champagne. That one's really pretty. So I'm happy with all three of these. They just seem so nice, really nice texture to them, just like they're gonna be really easy to work with, you know? And I just am loving Laura Geller stuff recently. I don't know, I'm just on the Laura Geller bandwagon for sure. And then I've got a bunch of stuff from ColourPop. Some of this stuff you've already seen in videos, some you haven't. This you definitely have. This is one of the Super Shock Shadows in Flower Shop. It's a really pretty like turquoisey green, oh my gosh, aquatic amazingness. I mean, look at that. Oh. Look at that, that is beautiful. So I love that. And then I have a bunch of lip products, so I don't even know what the fastest way is to show y'all. Let me just like name them all off and then I'll swatch them. Okay, so some lippy sticks, there's Chester hair on it. A lippy stick in Hippie Girl, no, Hype Girl, Hype Girl. A lippy stick in Croquette, this is a sheer. What is Hype Girl? Hype Girl is a matte. And then, do we have any more lippy sticks? Yes. A lippy stick in Backup. It's showing you the box doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> Why am I doing it this way? I don't even know. And then a matte X one in Pillow Talk. Obviously, I'm gonna swatch these for you so you'll get to actually see the colors. And then a lot of their, um, you know, well, some of them are the satin and then some of them are the ultra matte or something. I meant to get all satins, but I think I accidentally got one of the matte ones. Okay, so one of the satin lips in, this is in Naked Ladies. Really pretty, kind of like red coral. This one is Spritz, really pretty pink. This looks really fun. This is The Rabbit, like a nice like I don't know, duochrome sort of a pink. Oh, this, this is another uh, lippy stick. I forgot about this one. This, this is Boa. It's either B-O-A or Boa. I'm probably missing something there. I don't really know. And then um, an ultra satin lip in Molly. Ashley made me buy this one because it looks so pretty on her. And then this is Little Stitches. Am I missing one? I thought I had like a purpley color. Am I missing one? I think I'm missing one. I was missing one. It was actually in my purse. It's kind of funny. It was a happy accident because I didn't mean to get the matte one, but I actually love this one. This is in Cheap Thrills. So let me swatch all these. Okay, starting with the lippy sticks, they're swatched across the top here. So we're gonna start on this side. That one is Hype Girl, Croquette, then Backup, Pillow Talk, and then BOA. So there are all of those. I like them all. Pillow Talk is a little bit scary. I tried that one on, this one right here. Tried that one on, it's a little scary. But it's very unique, so I like it because it's unique, but I definitely wouldn't say it's flattering. It's a little bit um, 
zombie-ish on me. <laughs> now for the ultra satins and ultra mattes. Most all of them are ultra satins except for that one on the end. So we're gonna start over here on that one. So that is Naked Ladies, then Spritz, then The Rabbit. Then after that, we've got Molly. So Molly is right there. Then we've got Little Stitches. And then lastly, we have Cheap Thrills. Can you see that there? So there they all are. Those are all really pretty too. So like I said, Cheap Thrills was totally kind of like a happy accident. I wasn't expecting that to be the ultra matte. Really, I would like it if it was an ultra satin too, but I just really like the color of it. I think it's so pretty. So yeah, all really amazing. Ashley was right. Molly is a must have. That is such a pretty pinky mauve. It's gorgeous. And lastly, a few things that were sent to me through Octoly. So first is an eyeshadow from the brand called Vivalin. I've never heard of this brand, but this is the color bronze. It's a bronzy color. So they make it easy for you. If you want a bronze color, go with bronze. So this is what it looks like. And it's really beautiful. Like it's very buttery and very pigmented. Seems like a really nice quality shadow. I'd have to look up where you find Vivalin because um, I've never seen them anywhere or heard of them, but this is nice quality. Like this is one of those shadows that you could just do a one shadow look, like put this on your lid, blend it up into your crease and you're good to go. You could take it a notch, you know, further and use your bronzer in your crease, but it's just one of those easy sort of colors, but it's beautiful. I mean, just a gorgeous bronze color. And then I got a couple of pigments from, I think this is called House of Uni. I was thinking like from the pictures on Octoly's website, I thought they were going to be pressed pigments like the L'Oreal Infallibles, but they're actually loose pigments. So I would prefer if they were more pressed like the Infallibles but they're still very nice. Let me swatch them. This bottom one here doesn't have the color name on the um, container, so I don't remember what it's called, but I'll list it down below for you. So there it is there. It's really pretty. This is my favorite of the two. It's kind of like a shimmery copper, almost like a Max Melon Pigment, where it's not full on copper, but it's got, I don't know, that kind of coppery tone to it but a little bit orangey gold as well. So really, really pretty. And then the other one is Sunset. Let me show you in the container. So there it is in the container. So Sunset is kind of like a, I don't know, like a pinky garnet burgundy sort of a shade. This one isn't quite as pigmented as the other one. That one has to be built up a little bit. Both of these seem a little bit powdery, like they're gonna need some kind of a sticky base to really hold them on. So I'm gonna try them out with a glitter glue, and then also I'll probably use MAC Fix Plus because really, I mean, if you use this foiled, that will be beautiful. It seems like it's gonna be like crazy, metallic, shimmery beautifulness. So I'm excited to use it, but I definitely think that they seem like they're gonna need something sticky to really adhere them well. All right guys, so that wraps up this random collective haul. I felt a little bit random myself too, just a little bit spazzy and all over the place, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you have been picking up recently. If you have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.